How's it going guys? Kyle here with Newegg TV. Today I'll be showing you NVIDIA's latest flagship card. This is their GeForce GTX 780 Ti and it features the same GK110 GPU as found on the GTX 780 as well as the GTX Titan. It does however have a few beefed up specs, uh, putting it above and beyond what the Titan's capable of, uh, which I'm about to show you as well because we're also going to be showing some benchmarks in this video. Uh, but with that said, why don't we take a look at the specifications. Alright, so jumping right into it, this card has a base clock of 876 megahertz and a boost clock of 928 megahertz. It does have quite a few CUDA cores to it as well. It's got 2,880 as opposed to the GTX Titans, which was at 2,688. And that's once again because this is a fully unlocked GK110 GPU. You can see it right there. Actually, you know, it's mounted on the other side, but you can see where it's placed on the PCB there. Uh, it also does have 3 gigs of memory, GDDR5. That's half of what the GTX Titan has at 6 gigs, uh, but you do get a higher um, clock speed for your memory on this card at 7 gigahertz as opposed to the effective memory clock speed of 6 gigahertz with the GTX Titan. Uh, it does have a 384-bit memory interface, which is the same as the Titan, uh, but it does have more uh, bandwidth, I should say, at 336 gigabytes per second. Aside from that, it does have 48 ROP units and 240 texture units. Alright, so getting into some of the aesthetic differences between this cooler and the cooler found on the GTX Titan and the 780, uh, right off the bat here you can see the engraved uh, 780 Ti branding is actually painted black, whereas uh, the, the GTX Titan and the 780 branding on those coolers were not, and so it, it just makes it a lot easier to see. And of course, you, if you have a sweet high-end graphics card in your system, you want to show it off to your friends, this makes it a lot easier to do that. You'll also notice to the right there, the aluminum fin array that's uh, in that vapor chamber cooler, uh, which is uh, covered by that polycarbonate window, is also painted black. And um, this is kind of, uh, I guess, just a, a, an aesthetic change. I don't think it really affects performance either way, so it doesn't bother me too much. Um, but uh, there, there it is. I think it just kind of maybe matches with the part of that shroud a little bit more. Um, so it's kind of just an aesthetic thing. Uh, aside from that, you are still getting the same aluminum construction with this card. It's very durable, very, uh, it's got a nice weight to it. And you do also have the GeForce GTX branding here in green, which also has a green LED behind it. It lights up and looks really cool, especially when it's dim and dark in your, in your case. Uh, here's a power connectivity. Oh, before I get there, let's talk about the fan. The fan is a uh, same blower style uh, fan that you get on the other two coolers that I mentioned. Uh, it's going to be ejecting air primarily out the front of your card right there into your chassis but not too much, and most of it is going to be coming out the back through those ventilation slots. Uh, as far as power connectivity goes, you've got one 6-pin and one 8-pin PCI Express connector, and uh, basically the uh, NVIDIA website is recommending a 600-watt power supply to power this graphics card uh, if you're going to be doing a single card configuration. If you're going to be doing overclocking, you're obviously maybe going to want some extra juice there, and obviously if you're doing a multi-card configuration, uh, be sure to amp that up quite a bit. Here are your SLI connectors. SLI fingers over here. Uh, this card is capable up to four-way um, SLI. So uh, if you have multiple versions of this card, then I highly suggest that you do that and post a video so I can see it. Uh, here's your PCIe Gen 3 connector. Not too much to say about that. And let's take a look at the PCB itself. Here we go. It's kind of got a glossy black finish to it, uh, very similar to the other uh, GK110 cards. Uh, here you can see where the GPU is mounted, and you can also even see where the memory modules will, pr will probably, probably be on the opposite side of the PCB. Everything else looks pretty standard, uh, very similar to the other cards. And that kind of brings me to the video outputs. So here we've got two dual link DVI ports. We've got your DVI-I, which is uh, digital only, and DVI-D, which is both digital and analog. You've got HDMI as well as display port out. But that's enough about the hardware. Why don't we go on to our benchmarks and see some performance numbers.
right, guys, so there you have the performance results for the GTX 780 Ti. And uh, all things considered, price and performance, let us know what you think of this card in the comment section below. And uh, this is also, I did want to point out, a 700 series card from NVIDIA, so you do get all of the cool features that come along with that, including GPU Boost 2.0, uh, GeForce Experience, Shadow Play. Uh, it's also shield ready, so if you have an NVIDIA shield, you can take full advantage of that by streaming games straight from your computer to that device. Uh, this card also takes advantage of G-Sync, so that's uh, kind of one of NVIDIA's newer technologies. It's more or, le more or less a follow-up to V-Sync, and eliminates stuttering and tearing and things of that nature, especially when you're playing games. Uh, you do need a G-Sync enabled monitor to do so, uh, to, to fully take advantage of that technology, so just bear that in mind when making your decisions. Uh, but that's going to do it for now, guys. Thank you all for watching this video. I'm Kyle with Newegg TV. Please like the video if you enjoyed this type of content, and subscribe to Newegg TV for more tech videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.